Hi everyone. The last two days have been difficult. We are preparing to enter lockdown on Thursday and this is something we never imagined 2020 would thrust upon us. It is not an easy time as all our lives are being affected. It will be difficult. It will be challenging. But we have been asked to do this for the common good. We all have to do our part. It is our duty and we must do the right thing to try and halt the spread of COVID-19. This, friends, is a pro-life issue. By choosing to cooperate with our government's request, we are witnesses to life and living out our faith in a very tangible way. Cooperating is also the greatest contribution that we can make to the common good, which is an important and highly espoused principle in our Catholic social teaching tradition. It is essential that we do not leave our homes. It is essential that we limit social contact. Please do not travel unnecessarily. Don't go to church gatherings in these days, even if your church is insisting on gathering. COVID-19 won't wait to spread until the lockdown begins. It's spreading now. Encourage those you care about and your friends to embrace this way of living for the next three weeks. It will in the end help us all. Remember that the virus doesn't spread itself. People do when they don't stop moving around. Many people have coined the phrase social distancing. But we at the Jesuit Institute say we are not called to social distancing, but physical distancing. Reach out to others through any technological means you can. Don't distance socially. Distance yourself physically to be safe and keep others safe. Use WhatsApp video, call others, write messages, whatever you can manage. We will be reaching out to you as best we can in the same ways. It is now important too that we learn what it means to be the domestic church. Think of ways you can reflect and pray together as families. Turn off the TV daily and make time to be together. There are many resources online to help you use this time for spiritual profit. Try them out. If you live alone, there are also resources for you. The Jesuit Institute is doing what it can to make Sunday Mass available as well as the services of the Sacred Tridium. We have also dedicated a page on our website to offer resources for information, discussion and reflection at this time. We will be sending more regular mail-outs to our database in order to help you think and reflect on what is important for us all to know right now. We will offer a free Tridium audio retreat. And we also have spiritual directors who are available if anyone wants to talk to them online. This will be confidential. Contact us if you want to talk to someone and we'll connect you. Yesterday, the Superior General of the Jesuits, that is our big boss in Rome, Father Toro Sosa, broadcast a video message to the world. And I'd like to share part of what he said, because I think that it is important for us all to hear this. He says, We do not know how long the stretch of the road is or what will follow after. So let us ask for light to see the way forward and the grace that we need to walk it as brothers and sisters in solidarity with the whole of humanity and with the planet on which we live. May the Lord bless us and keep us as we walk this journey together. Let's do just that, friends. Walk together in solidarity and respect as we enter into a time of lockdown. Let us not be afraid as we can face this together. May God bless you and your families at this time.